Hello, <laughs> here we are again. So I'd like to start off and say, what's up, Chandler? Anybody else want to say what's up? Yo, Hello, what's Chandler. Up? Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> so today we're going to be working on automobiles. We started last week with small engine and we're moving on to larger engine stuff. They all work on the same principle. You give them air, you give them some gas, and you give them a little spark and you get a boom and the motor runs. So we're just going to take what we know about the small engines that we picked up last week and we're going to apply it to some bigger engines today. We have two trucks outside that they match. They're the same year, same model, uh, both Chevrolets. And what we're going to do today is we're going to look at this as though we are a shop and we had two people come in with two different problems. Person number one, they need an oil change and an air filter. So that's pretty straightforward. Of course, we want to look around the hood while we're under there and see if we have other problems that pop up or something we see that needs to be fixed. Truck number two has a specific problem. And the problem with that truck is that it's getting really bad gas mileage and it's not running all that good. So I'd, I'd like to start by asking a question and seeing what you guys think. What could cause bad gas mileage in a car? It ain't working correctly. That's along the right path. The, uh, the actual fuel supply pipe isn't, you know, working correctly. It's leaking. Bad, bad fuel supply. So, yeah, it, bad fuel supply always causes it to stumble. Usually, like with bad fuel, if you're just driving around at idle or in town, what you're going to find is it'll stumble on you. But once you hit the gas and get up to higher RPM, it'll run a little bit better. But then you get up to a certain point and it starts running bad again. Sometimes ignition can also cause bad problems with fuel economy and it stuttering or maybe running rough. But usually those problems are going to be throughout the RPM range. When you're at idle, you're sitting at like 800 to 1200 RPMs. And when you're driving down the road, you're at like 2000 RPMs. And when you're running late on the way to get somewhere, you're probably running 5000 RPMs. And ignition problems like spark plugs and wires or a distributor cap, something like that that's part of the ignition system, that'll be there all the way through the RPM range where a fuel problem will happen, like I was saying earlier, more at idle and more at low RPM, like up to about 1500 RPM. So this customer today that we're going to look at the suggestion we just got about from the unnamed student, since this is on a video, um, was along the right path. At low RPMs, he's having fuel delivery problems. So some of the things I can think of that we replace is fuel filter. That would make the pump work at full efficiency. And if the fuel filter doesn't fix it, then hey, we're looking at a fuel pump but all we can do is patch it together and get him on the road and let him test it out for about a couple of days and then he'll get back with us. So we could be looking at a fuel pump down the road. I doubt we are because uh, I can show you guys once we get started how to test the fuel pressure on one. There's a little, it looks just like when you fill up the tire with air. You've got a little uh, valve cap in there. You just touch it and the gas sprays. You can put a pressure meter on it. Um, you know, the other thing that can cause stumbling or bad gas mileage, it doesn't really cause the same problems as gas, as severe of problems, but it will get you pretty, a, a pretty good amount of problems is just a regular old air filter, a $9 air filter from Walmart. I mean, that solves so many problems. And so that's why we're sticking to really basic things because I don't think, first off, we don't get enough time to do any more than just surface level on the automobile section. And the basics are the most important thing. So we're gonna get off of the camera now and go into some of the other stuff. And we're gonna edit this where you don't have to hear any of the background noise.
Thanks for tuning in.